Hi, in this clip, I'm going to show you how to add files and links to your plan. In Planner, we have the ability to attach a file to a task. And it can be a Word document, an image, a PDF, whatever it is, the process is the same. Now we're going to select this task here, Strategic Partnerships. We'll click on it to open it up. And we see here the button that says Add Attachment. We'll click on that. And it gives us three options. We can add a file, we can add a link, or we can add something from SharePoint. We're going to add a file from our local computer. So we'll click here. And I will select this Word document, Strategic Partnerships. It's uploading that document. And now you see a little bit of a preview of what that document looks like. And I have an option here to show that preview on the task card. So I'm going to do that. But when I selected that box, the checkbox up here to show the description on the card became unchecked. Well, let me check that one again. And now this one's unchecked. You can't have both of them checked. You can't show the description and the preview. You have to choose one or the other. So for right now, I'm going to select the preview, close up the card, and you can see there it is, a preview of that Word document strategic partnerships on that card. Now it's just a Word document. It's not very interesting to look at. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to choose to show the description instead. But now when you look on the card, you see this little icon right here. It's a little paper clip with the number one. That lets me know that there is one attachment on this task. Let's go ahead now and let's upload an image. We're going to go to the Technology Upgrades task, click on that to open it up, click on Add Attachment, click on File, and I'm going to navigate to my Pictures folder and select this picture, New Computers. And it takes a little while for this to upload because it is a, a bigger file. It's an image. It's pretty big. And I'm going to choose to show that on the card. And when I close it, Right now, we just see a placeholder for the image. We need to refresh our page. So let me go to the upper left corner here and refresh. And when we come back, we should see that image. Yeah, there it is. And you can see a, a picture is a little bit more visually interesting than that preview of a Word document. All right. Now, something else happened because we attached this image and this document to these tasks. Planner uploaded them to our SharePoint site. In a different video, I showed you that when we created a new plan, it also created a SharePoint site for us for that plan, our annual report site. So if we go to that annual report SharePoint site, go to the documents library, we will now see that that new computer's image and the Strategic Partnerships document have both been uploaded to that document library here in SharePoint. Now they're accessible to everybody through that SharePoint library. It's a great way to go ahead and share things. Let's go back to our annual report plan. And let's add something now from SharePoint. We're going to go to the Asset Statement task. Click there to open it up. We're going to click on Add Attachment. And we're going to choose SharePoint. So what it does is show us a link to all the files that are in that SharePoint document library. And the one I'm going to select is Green Technology and choose Save. And I'm not going to show this one on the card because we've already seen that previews of Word documents aren't very interesting. But you do see the little icon, the little paperclip icon and the number one. Now, it didn't upload another copy of this document because it was already in SharePoint and knew that. It just took that same document and essentially attached it to this task card. Now, the last thing we're going to do is add a link. We're going to click on the Fiscal Responsibility Report, open it up, click on Add Attachment, and choose Link. Now, the link... We have a space for an address. It's just the URL of the website. And it can be 
an external website or it could be something in our internal network. So we're going to choose to simply go to our annual report SharePoint site. I'm going to copy the link and paste it there. And now text to display, this is what we're going to see on the card. Annual report site. And we will save it. And once we do that, we go up here and we see we have the little checkbox to show on card. We'll click there. We can close that up. And when we go look at the card, we see the link there. And if we click it, it takes us to that SharePoint site for our plan. And now you know how to add files and links to a plan.